This woman is carefully burrowing into a hole in the tree. This is where she sleeps at night. As she dozes off, the sound of an airplane roaring in the distance. She rushed to fire a flare, but the plane didn't come. But she saw a strange figure on the sea. She rushed to hide in the woods. There were heavy footsteps all around her. Mary couldn't breathe. Finally, another night passed. The next day, Mary put her life jacket in her suitcase and tied it up, and dashed out to sea with her suitcase. She thought it would make a simple boat, but the suitcase was too small. It couldn't hold its weight. It flopped around for a long time, but it didn't work. Mary was furious. She couldn't go. She found a place to hide. She hid in a hole in a tree and prepared for the night. Suddenly there was the sound of a wild animal roaring outside, and with it, a lurch, and the hole rolled around a few times. Mary was in a state of shock, but she didn't dare make a sound. Finally, another night passed. Mary climbed out of the hole. The skin of the hole was pulled off. She couldn't stay here any longer. She had to find a way out. The next day, the girl took her spear and toured the island. She found a large cave. It made strange noises from time to time. Could the monster be hiding in there? The girl slowly walked up to the cave. Just wanted to stick her head in to see. It's just a stupid bird, but there was every indication that the horrible monster was still on the desert island. The girl gathered some rags, and then tied a spear through both ends. Then she wraps a rope around a tree, and then she hangs the rags high up in the tree, to make a simple sleeping bag, so you don't have to worry about monsters attacking at night. At night, the woman was awakened by an inexplicable noise. She looked around vigilantly, but found nothing. She was just about to fall asleep again. A monster's low growl came from under the hammock. The woman could only keep praying that the monster wouldn't find her. Luckily, the monster didn't stay long, and left slowly. In order to find out the monster's true identity, the woman hanged her companion's limbs on the tree. Then she hid in the shadow and watched secretly. This time she didn't dare to doze off. She concentrated on the bait. Suddenly, her eyes became terrified. A mysterious creature appeared and ate the corpse in the tree. The woman was so frightened that she couldn't breathe. She looked ahead of her, fearing that the monster would come to attack her. But just then, the roar of an airplane. The woman was so excited, seeing the monster has disappeared. She was about to get up and call for help. But the monster suddenly appeared in front of her. The woman stopped moving, covered her mouth tightly. She didn't dare to make a sound. Luckily, the monster left in no time. The woman finally breathed a sigh of relief. The next day, the woman suddenly realized, a lifeboat floating in the sea. She didn't have time to think about it, so she swam over to it, when she got close enough to see, only to realize that it was her boyfriend and best friend who were separated in the shipwreck. After getting ashore, the woman hurriedly packed her clothes and prepared to leave, but her boyfriend and best friend didn't want to leave. They'd had enough of drifting at sea, they finally found land, they want to live here for a while. The girl was anxious, she screamed that there were monsters at night, but her boyfriend didn't believe her, and he yelled at her. You even listening to me, we are not getting on that fucking The girl was so upset that she couldn't speak, she had no choice but to leave. After she left, the two of them were still walking on the beach. The girl saw it and was anxious. Then she quietly packed her bags. She took the only fresh water and food she had left and put them in the kayak when they weren't looking. Finally, she pushed the kayak to the beach, decided to leave alone. Unexpectedly, her best friend saw this action. The two of them ran towards the girl as fast as they could. The boyfriend hugged the girl before she could get away. The best friend also clutched the girl's feet, but the girl kicked her away. But this kick also made her angry. As she struggled, she threw a shovel at her. The girl sank into the sea instantly. She woke up again. It was nighttime. Her hands and feet were tied up by the two of them. At this moment, suddenly, the screams of her best friend came from the sea. The boyfriend left the girl. He rushed there with a torch. Then he struck the monster's back with a stick, but the blow didn't hurt. The monster swatted him away. Then it plunged into the sea, and finally dragged his girlfriend into the deep sea, and the boyfriend was trembling with fear. He hid in a tree for the whole night, until the girl said the monster wouldn't appear in the daytime. He came down, so they pushed the boat overboard. They decided to leave immediately. The two of them had a clear division of labor. Everything was in order. But suddenly, the boyfriend noticed an unidentified object swimming past. He was about to take a closer look. The monster suddenly attacked and scratched his boyfriend. The woman saw this, rushed to seal the entrance, trying to stop the monster from entering. But the monster cut through the boat from below and exposed its head. In a moment of desperation, boyfriend grabbed a flare gun and attacked the monster. But he missed. Suddenly.